The Random Jottings of Donald J. In Nelson in Bendel, Lancashire. Deep in the heart of Cole, on the grounds of Hobstone's farm, there lived an angry dwarf. He was a being that was part fairy and part ghost, feared by all who knew of his existence. For years, he had driven out family after family from the farm, leaving behind a trail of fear and destruction. The dwarf was said to be particularly terrifying, with a bleeding severed arm as his most noticeable feature. His presence was known to be accompanied by the sound of phantom cavaliers, and violent poltergeist outbreaks were a regular occurrence. Many had tried to exorcise the angry dwarf from the farm, but none had succeeded. He seemed to be a force that could not be reckoned with, and he continued to terrorize the inhabitants of the farm for years. As time passed, more and more families left the farm, unable to cope with the angry dwarf's malevolent presence. It seemed that the farm was doomed to be forever haunted by this terrifying creature. That was until one day, a group of clergymen arrived at the farm to perform an exorcism. They had heard of the angry dwarf and his reign of terror and had come to put an end to it once and for all. The exorcism was a long and grueling process, but eventually, the dwarf was driven out. His presence was no longer felt on the farm, and the phantom cavaliers and violent poltergeist outbreaks ceased. The farm was once again inhabited, and a new family moved in. They had heard of the angry dwarf's past and were wary of what they might encounter, but to their surprise, they found that the farm was peaceful and free from any supernatural activity. The angry dwarf had been vanquished, and the farm was no longer a place of fear and terror. The residents of Colne breathed a sigh of relief, knowing that they could now go about their lives without fear of encountering the malevolent spirit that had once haunted the Hobstones farm by Donald J.